Okay, now look at the two spacemen. This is for spider. This is for fish. Okay? Okay, good now. So looking at the two of them, this belongs to crustacean. This belongs to arachnida. Okay, now look uh, critically and find out that there are a lot of things that are that constitutes differences, structural differences. Okay? Like here, there is a palp for defense, offense, there is absent of palp here. Okay? There is present of telson and Europod. Here there is absent of telson and Europod. Here there is fumirates. Okay? Okay? There is absent of fumirates. There is spinnerets. No spinnerets here. Okay? There is filling appendages here. That is not here. There is chili paint here. Okay? For walking. And there is none here. There is rose tube here. There is no rose tube here. Okay? Um, looking at the head, the head of a crawfish is much more bigger than the head of this. Okay? Looking about the eyes, this particular uh, organism, specimen, that is spider, has its eyes. One, two, three, four, four pairs of eyes, or total of eight eyes. It just has one simple eye. So these are the structural uh, differences between specimen D and C. That is spider and then crawfish. Okay, now let's look at the economic importance of the two organisms. Okay? For spider, let's start with spider. The economic importance of spider, which appears to be specimen C, is that it worked. Okay, that nets, it web that nets, and that nets helps to what? To trap most of these domestic insects. Okay, like ants, like house fly. So most likely, specimen C, which is a, which is a, a spider, is an insectivorous organism. Insectivorous means that it feeds on insects, a form of carnivorous. Or maybe insects. So these are the one way they also uh, feed. Okay, they put up the web, and the web helps to trap insects in homes. So this is one economic important of spider. One economic important of crawfish is that is a very rich source of protein. Is edible. Okay. It's a very rich source of protein. Okay? The rich source of protein you can use in any form of flavoring in a cooking. So these are the economic importance. Remember the habitats, terrestrial, found in ceilings, walls, abandoned building. This is mainly marine. This is like a, a ocean, sea, and so on and so forth. It must be in salt water because the salt water helps to build the what? The shell. The shell. The shell. Remember one thing that is very, very common or similar between the both of them? The both of them are atropon. But in terms of structural similarities, structural similarities, you find that both of them have jointed legs. Okay? Both of them have eye. Both of them have head. Okay? Both of them have caraspace. Please take note of this. Caraspace. A very extra space in the head region. Okay? This is the head region. So that's extra space of the head is called what color space okay now let me tell you something about the cardiac mark this is where the heart of a spider is found so this cardiac mark protects internal organ like the heart okay so color space is another extra space you look at the look at the extra look at the look at the extra so both possesses color space that is one structural similarities between the two both also possess abdomen but well, only the abdomen of this one is segmented. This is non-segmented or unsegmented abdomen. So these are the differences obtained there, or differences between specimen C and specimen D. Okay, now we quickly run through. Remember this economic important. One economic important is just the web it forms at home. Okay, 
the web form at home can also constitute nuisance at home. Okay. Okay. And again, since it's an insect, uh, another economic important is that uh, most most insecticide used in controlling this insect most of the time is capital intensive. Okay. For this one, so this form economic important. But the main economic important of this is it is itself as food due to its high proteinous content. Crayfish we most more, all, all of us mostly use it at all. So let's quickly go to the next placement E and F. E is a um, spirogyra filament. E. F is mocha or rhizopus. 